listening to Bottle Blondes Podcast. It's my birthday! Yay! Tomorrow! Happy birthday, Brandy! It's already my birthday. Yeah. The whole month is my birthday. Yeah. I think I should be celebrated every day. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> but especially in the month of May. Yes. Because I like for people to praise me for no reason at all. <laughs> That's a Gryffindor thing to do. I want all the praise and all the glory for doing nothing. I guess your one good thing would obviously be... In my birthday. It's your birthday. <laughs> um, up until this week, like, I hadn't really been feeling good, and I've been really depressed. And I was like, I'm really sad. Like, it's my birthday, and I hate it here. <laughs> but yesterday, I was feeling a little better. And today, I feel a little bit better than that, so... Like, a move from, like, a zero to a hundred, I'm at about, like, a seven. Seven's good. It's po- yeah. A seven is positive. It's, like, a B minus. I'll take it. Yeah. One thing I forgot, we did not get glasses. We didn't. We didn't get our, our wine drinking glasses. We didn't. I'm going to grab those real quick. Okay. Hannah's going to entertain y'all okay. for one second. Okay. About this here sign for Brandy, it says, Happy Birthday, Cause it is is her birthday. (laughs) And I got us party hats to be fun and festive. Of course. This is the first birthday cake I've had. Yay! I got her a pink cake and it's strawberry. (gasps) I love strawberry. I knew you did. (laughs) So since it is a very special occasion today, we're popping the champagne. Pop the champagne. I don't care if we have coffee, coffee cups or plastic cups. I think Sunny has the cups. Tonight, we're drinking straight from the bottle. Not in a little trouble. Okay. How do you get this gold shit off? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually black, but you know. Same same thing. I get what you were saying. It's not. Yeah. He's talking about this, but the gold. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The twisty thing. Yeah. So, beware is all I'm going to say, because it will pop, and hopefully it won't get everywhere. When oh. me and Dee got engaged, when the guy opened our, when, when he took the twisty thing off, mm-hmm. the thing, like the cork just, like, popped off, I guess, because it was like a lot of pressure in it. I guess he's like a professional. And it you flew know into the water. Alright, are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to do it this way so it'll get a little anonymous. <laughs> Conceited, but it's my birthday, so I can be. Oh, the bubbles. No, that's some more. Mm. Beautiful. So I'm gonna blow my little candle. I'm gonna make my wish. I'm not gonna tell you guys because it won't come true. But it'll be like a second for y'all. We're back. All right, we are back. The cake has been cut. Yes. So, your one good thing we said was your birthday. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess my one good thing kind of goes along with it. I'm excited to go on your trip. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going, going to, to Covington and getting out of our little small town for a few days. Yes. Yeah, I need to get out of here. I need to get out for a few days. It really, like you get in here and you just. Basically. And I'm upset because the actor, um, Zach, who played Matt in Vampire Diaries, was at the Mystic Grill yesterday doing photo sessions and autographs. Like, you couldn't have came on my birthday. Oh, no. So, I'm saying, so, all right, so Zach was there this week, so next week, maybe somebody else will be there. I hope so. I hope. Joseph Horton is there. I mean... But he's not. He's filming a TV show right now. I'm hoping we'll see MG. Yeah. I love CMG. I cry. 
Okay. I would. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to just having a break, and I'm getting my three days of work in a row this week. I'm getting them over and done with, so mm-hmm. I can have like a long weekend, get out of town for a few days, and I'm just looking forward to just having the break mm-hmm. and trying to relax and all that, so yeah, I guess that's my one good thing. And um, also... Um, the video, we're going to record our trip and everything, and it's going to be posted on my YouTube channel. So, whenever that video is out, we'll link it in the comments, or we'll, we'll post about it on our social medias as well. So, make sure you're following yes. us. Um, so, you can check out that video and see how much fun we had. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm excited. We're vlogging. We're vlogging. And I also have exciting. a couple of little games we're gonna play and it's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm gonna look out for that. Follow us on TikTok and Instagram at bottleblondes.podcast and on Twitter it's at bottleblondes P. P. If you guys haven't watched episode 8 with my mom about women empowerment, go watch it. It is fantastic. But we said that we were gonna do an age reveal. Yeah. In episode 9... We completely forgot about it, <laughs> to we be did. honest. I'm sorry. Uh, we were having a lot of fun that night, and <laughs> we just was telling all these crazy stories. That's a good one, too, if you haven't seen it. It's up. Age reveal. My mom is 50, and she will be 51 June 16th. Yep. So, that's the age reveal, guys, for everyone <laughs> who has been waiting, if anyone was. <laughs> See, I don't flood her DM, so I know yeah. she look good. But. <laughs> I mean, I know she's hot. I know she doesn't look 50, but she's taken. Sorry. Before we get into this episode, we're going to just cover some pop culture topics and stuff that's been going on. So we wanted to talk and give our input on the Johnny Depp trial and what's been going on with that. So, honestly, the whole thing is a mess. It is. Like, if I've been sitting down watching this trial, and it is a freaking mess. <laughs> it is. Right. And he's just hilarious. And he like is. He just doesn't even care. Like, like, I feel he like, knows. Uh, me and Johnny Depp would be best friends. Like, I feel like we have the same sense of humor. And I'm obsessed with Johnny Depp. I mean, mm. he has some of the best movies of all time. You know, Sweeney Todd's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean. Like, just, and yeah. I'm so upset, like. He got dropped from that franchise. I know. Just because of this and his involvement in this trial. Yeah. Everyone's dropping him and dropping him off of everything. And I still haven't seen the new Fantastic Beasts movie because I just don't want to see my my hat is falling off. (laughs) I just can't see another actor trying to be Johnny Depp. Like, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to see it, though. I'm going to eventually see it, of course, but I have to support Eddie Redmayne. But. Right. Edward Scissorhands is a classic. Also one of my favorite movies. Uh, Sleepy Hollow. Mm. What's the one that the vampire one called? Oh, uh, God. It was good. Shoot. I, mean, I can tell you the whole movie right here, but I, I cannot think of the name of it. Oh, that one's so good, though. But it, it's, a good, it's a good one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that one. That one's good. And there is an old movie that he was in when Leonardo DiCaprio, who was like 17. Yes. Yeah, Leonardo DiCaprio and Johnny Depp in a movie. What's Eaton Gilbert Grape. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? Yes. Man, that's... And Leonardo DiCaprio, the acting in that movie was just untouched. Like, it was so good. And Johnny Depp obviously was great. You just, I mean, he's just amazing, mm-hmm. and I feel like overall as a person, he's a good person too, he is. and I feel like he's getting shit on, and I hate it for him, but I feel like now everybody's seeing his side of it, and they're like, okay, we hear you, like, mm-hmm. we understand what's going on here, but you were saying the trial's not over, that now yeah, like, they're going to hear um, her Amber Heard's going to go on there, and like kind of give her a little, little testimony. I'm waiting on the TikToks to flood in. Uh, so, let's see what she, what she can come up with, because everything that she said so far has been proven to be kind of, like, not true, and I'm going to take this hat off for a second. Put your crown on. Yeah. It came out that she was saying that this little makeup palette she used to use to conceal her bruises from him in, like, 2016 and all this crap, and then the makeup company came out and said, well, that palette didn't even come out. Until a couple years after that. So, that was a lie. I bet she was, like, 
So embarrassed. Yeah. I'd be mortified. It's just, I feel like she's honestly in it for the money. And she's going to... The attention. The attention, yeah. And she's in Aquaman. Um, and I've heard that, you know, they're doing a second Aquaman. And they've cut her screen time down. Good. Um, and she's only in it for like less than 10 minutes is what I heard. Good. This Johnny Depp was dropped from all this, all of these things. And now she's getting dropped from these things because... I mean, it's only fair. Yeah. Like, you, you reap what you sow, honey. Mm-hmm. And That's she right. did that to his career, career and now... Coming for her too. I'm interested to see where this trial goes. I feel bad for him because the, I mean, the work that he has put in in his career and like everything just kind of ruined. Over objection, hearsay. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, hearsay, hearsay. Like they won't even let the man talk. I know. Like he's on. He's the one on the stand. Can we hear what he has to say without you trying to interrupt him every five seconds? The freaking TikToks were so funny. Yeah. Like. I was living for the freaking edits and the TikToks people were making. Like, mm-hmm. I have them all saved. Like, they were iconic. And the faces that he'd be making, they'd be saying something. He'd be like, and I'm like, icon. Like, that king. Was, he was talking about, um, they were like, and you poured yourself like this drink or in the morning. Yeah. He and said, a mega pint. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, um, saying, he had poured him a drink like it was early in the morning. And he was like, well, happy hours any time. <laughs> and they was like, were you drunk? And he said, were you there? <laughs> <laughs> like, with this trial, it's just like a he said, she said things. And everything that she's been saying is half of it's not even freaking true. So, I don't know. The truth is Honestly, the people on the jury, like... Okay, so you know what? Because I've had jury duty before. Mm-hmm. You know, they call you in and they tell you about the case and stuff. And they say, do you know anyone involved in this? And if you do, like, you have to, like, they don't need you on the case. Right. Um, like, I've, I've been in the courtroom. I've been a juror. It was really interesting. I felt like I was on a freaking TV show. <laughs> I've never done it before. It was fun. Like, I had fun. And I thank you. I mean, I, I'll do it again. Yeah. Oh, bet. Yeah, I'll do it again. It was fun. Everyone, of course, knows who Johnny Depp is. So, how did they yeah. pick a jury for this? And, of course, if I was the juror and, like, Johnny Depp was on trial, I'd be like... Yeah. Like, I would be biased. I would be biased, too. Like, I don't know how they picked this jury. Right. That's crazy. I don't know. It's just weird. Anyway, another thing that happened is, you know, Olivia Rodriguez on tour right now. Yeah. And she showed up with Avril Lavigne. Yes. If I was there and, like, she just walked out, like, my childhood, <laughs> I would have right? like, flipped out. You know, she's coming close to us, too. Really? Um, Avril and um, MGK is coming together on tour. And Ooh. I really think we should go to that. That would be fun. Like, I think it's maybe, like, an hour away from us. Oh, yeah. well, that'd be bad. I would, that'd be the best night of my life, honestly. Yes. The big Time Rush is also coming near us, <laughs> and I want to come see them. So, BTR, if you hear about this, you know where to find me. <laughs> That's it for stuff going on, what we want to talk about. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and get, like, into this episode. Yes. Today, it's all about Brandy, of course, you know, it's her birthday. Yes. So... My day to be conceded. So, I was going to just kind of start off with some of, like, our favorite memories Um, I have no idea what you're going to say, so I'm kind of scared. Nothing (laughs) crazy. Nothing crazy. Of course, like, if you go watch uh, our very first episode on here, you will get the story of how we met. You know, so if you want to know how we met, go watch it. But (laughs) I feel like, you know, since we met, you know, we've just, we just clicked. You Mm -hmm. know, like, we kind of just instantly clicked. And... You don't find that very often with a friend, Mm -mm. and we went all through high school together and stayed friends, and in college, you know, we, you know, went through some stuff, but then we ended up being roommates in college, Yeah, and I feel like that was one of my favorite memories. College, you know, some parts of college were really rough. We were both very depressed while we were in college. I feel like we did not get the college experience. We didn't. And I really want to have that college experience. I feel like I missed out on some of the stuff. I mean, with me being in the mindset I'm in now, I feel like it would be different. Yeah. You know, like, I'm a completely different person now than I was then. Yeah. But I feel like just some of the things we did in college, (laughs) like, we're just... 
like, that was a unique experience. Yeah. That, like, we won't have that again. So, I feel like some of the things we did in college, like, those were really fun memories that I have with you. Mm-hmm. Like, walking around campus together and watching One Tree Hill and Glee in our room. And then waking <laughs> up in the morning and be like, we ain't going to class. Like, <laughs> you know, like, we just... I don't know, like, that's just... Yep. See, some days we were very productive. Like, some yeah. days we got up before class, we went to the gym, yeah. we had breakfast, like, we got up early, we went to class, we were productive, and then some days we were really depressed girls, and it was hard, but we we had each other. <laughs> we did. So, if I was there by myself, I probably would have just left. Yeah. Like, I would not have came back. Yeah. I mean... With everything going on, like, I right. just would not have came back. Yeah, I feel like we helped each other through the hard yeah. times. Like, I feel like, like what you said, like we were both not in a place to do college. Right. <laughs> like, we were not there at all. Yeah. And if we could go back now and do it, we would, it would be great. Right. Because we're both like different people now, yeah. you know? I feel like every year you're a different person. And every year you gain more knowledge and you find yeah. out more about yourself and like, like 18 like that's just so young and they're like what are you gonna do for the rest of your life like how do you when you're 18 that? how do you know that you yeah. don't even know who you are at 18 like when I was in college I had no idea what I wanted to do like I was just hopping from major to major and I was like I don't freaking know what I want to do I switched I was doing early childhood and then I switched to English yeah and then I took writing classes and stuff and then I I was gonna, I was gonna minor in theater. I don't know why I was putting all this crap on me. Yeah. So I was taking theater classes, writing classes. For some reason, with writing, you had to take a lot of freaking history. But yeah. I was really good at the paper, so I yeah, <laughs> I had to get in that class. But college was definitely one of the things that stood out in my mind when I thought about our favorite memories together. Like, I guess just because it was a unique experience mm-hmm. that we like won't have that again. You know, and of course, living in the apartment. You know, I feel like I kind of took some of it for granted because, Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, we lived there for three years. That's a long time. It went by. It went by so fast. Like, it did. And, you know, when you live somewhere, you get comfortable and you're like, oh, this is home. And, like, it felt like home. It did. It was comfortable. And you just don't think about it. But then when it was time to leave, you know, I think we were so busy with the move in that, like, I didn't really think about how I didn't get the feels yet mm-hmm. until that first night when I was alone here, um, when Dee was at work, and then I finally like had a minute to sit down and be yeah. alone, and then I was like, "Oh crap! Like we're never gonna go back there." And then that's I kind of got the feels, you know, like that's how I was. Like I was at my mom's, and I was like, "All right, well this was fun. I want to go home now." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It really hit me when, like, we started moving stuff. Like, we moved the table. Mm-hmm. And then we walk in there and, like, to see the table gone. It, it was, was like, kind of empty. Shoot. Yeah. Like, this is for real, for real. Yeah. Because I just try to not think about it, but. We had some crazy memories living in that apartment. You remember that time the power went out? Oh, my God. <laughs> this is what happened. So, the power goes out in our apartment. And me and Hannah just started. Blackout, blackout. <laughs> we started singing in the heights. Oh yeah, okay, possible. <laughs> it was crazy, and we were walking outside, um, and like all the neighbors were just walking in the street, and we were just like, <laughs> it was like weird, cause like we got close to our neighbors, like I yeah. talked to them, and then we was like, what's going on? Cause we yeah. had seen something flash outside the window. Mm-hmm. We was like, oh god, lightning just hit us or something. Yeah. Like, like we saw it, like. Phew. Like, some spark went mm-hmm. outside the window. Like, we saw it off our balcony. Yeah. And our friend that we went to high school with, he lived underneath us, and he's a cop. Mm-hmm. So, he's in on stuff that's going on. So, we called him. We were like, what's going on? What's up, dude? Like, what's going on? I had to work the next day. So, my immediate thought was, I can't charge my phone. I cannot set my alarm. I'm going to be late to work. I text to work. I was like, listen, if I'm late... I- I'm going to try to wake up, but yeah, <laughs> the power is out. <laughs> yeah, and I even told Brandy, because I was off the next day, I was like, I mean, I could set an alarm for my phone, like, I could try to help you wake up, but that was yeah. crazy, but that wasn't the first time our power went out. Yeah. It had went out several times, and I remember the very, very first time our power went out. This is, 
<laughs> we lit every single candle that we own. And they were all freaking scented and candles. And they were all like a different scent. And you don't realize how all those smells come together. <laughs> and they smell terrible when they all like combine. And we lit like every single candle and we had like a huge bottle of wine. Like we, we had, had two big... bottles. We had one of those and we had another one too. Oh, we ended yeah. up opening that up. We had a big one and then we had like a regular sized one and we drank both bottles of wine. So this is what happened. The power immediately goes out and for some reason me and Hannah we don't have to work the next day. We're not even scared at all. We're like, oh well Let's grab some wine. Like, it was like, I didn't even say, I didn't say anything to her. She did not say anything to me. We just grabbed the wine out of the fridge. We lit the candles. We sat on the balcony and just sat there and had a good time. We did. <laughs> it was and it great. was like warm outside then. Mm-hmm. So we just went on the balcony and we were just chilling, having our wine. And I think at one point we were like drinking out of the bottle. We drank both of those bottles of wine. We were like lit. And then I think we had a hot tub party after that, and we were <laughs> and still a hot drinking tub wine. Party is us in the bathtub and in had, our bathing suits. Yep, yeah, and I had bubbles, and we had bubbles <laughs> everywhere. That was fun. And then we always had our annual Christmas party. Oh yes, we had our uh, Christmas pajama parties every mm-hmm. year at the apartment. Um, so that think, was fun. Yeah, the first year we did like ugly sweaters, and yeah. then we started doing pajama parties. Right. Yeah, so we did that, and, and we took our family Christmas cards every year. And yes, <laughs> we put had, them on the fridge. Yep, we took we sent out little Christmas cards in our little apartment every year. I have I have them on my fridge right now. Oh, little Christmas cards. I still have them and keep them on the fridge. Memories, but uh, those were fun. And I remember sometimes randomly, like if we didn't have to work the next day, we just like text all our friends and be like, "Hey, you want to come over and like drink?" Or you want to come over and chill? And, and us coming over and chill, it <laughs> always ends up into us just singing karaoke. Yeah. And karaoke. honestly, that is the best therapy. We yeah. just came over and we just, all right, who's next? Then we got up there and sang our little hearts out and sang about all our problems. And it's really a coping mechanism. I just remember that one time that we all sang karaoke. And I remember Caitlin saying, um... Uh, Whose bed has your boots been under? <laughs> and then uh, D sang Tennessee Whiskey. That's his go-to um, karaoke song, <laughs> Tennessee Whiskey. He loves Chris Stapleton. And yours is um, Olivia mine, Rodrigo or Taylor uh, Swift. Mine, yeah, either that or Jana Kramer Whiskey. Oh, yeah. That's my karaoke song. Yeah. And me and Caitlin sung it at a karaoke place recently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that I usually go to. for uh, Billie Eilish. I heard some sad songs, um, so we sang Jana Kramer, then we got to sing some Olivia Rodrigo. We had our karaoke parties, we'd, have, we'd play cards, mm-hmm. we played Skip Bow. Yep, Skip Bow, Skip Yahtzee. Bow. Yep, Game then Night. We'd come up with our own games. We'd do charades, we'd make up our own charades. And yeah, get up there and do charades. I remember that one time me and you and Dee did that. That one time, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. And we did like movies. And we were, like, trying to act out the movies. We really need to host a game night here one night. Yeah. And just invite all of our friends and do a game night. Me and Dee were talking about that. Um, once the outside of our house is finished, the only thing that has to be done is it just has to be painted. And then mm-hmm. it's it's done after that. And the outside decorations, which that'll take, like, less than a day to yeah. do. So, after that's done, we want to invite everybody over. We should just so, do, like, game night and play yeah. like charades and... Yeah, we want to have people and over and do it, so that'll be soon. Man, the apartment. They're just good times. I just sit there and think about it all the time. Like, all right, I'm going to head home. Yeah. Like, all right, this has been fun, but I'm going to go back home now. I feel like we've grown so close. Yeah. And, like, it's hard to live without Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm in Santa. Yeah. And me and Garrett was talking the other day. Um, I was like, am I your best friend? And he was like, yeah, you're my best friend, but I don't think you're mine. I think you're Hannah's best friend. <laughs> and I said, that's different. <laughs> He's my best friend, mm-hmm. but, like, you're my best friend, too, but it's, like, it's it's a different... It's a different connection. Right. Like, I know every single thing about her, and she knows every single thing about me. Right. When you live with somebody, it just... You just grow close like that. Right. And it happens. I think the only other friend that, like, I know every single thing about other than you is Sarah. Yeah. And that's only because, like, I've known her, like, we grew up together since mm-hmm. we were, like, five years old. So, I think that's I think the only reason why. But, yeah. I mean, but we grew up together, too. I mean, we yeah. were just, like, 
found in ourselves. Like, we didn't know who we were when we met, you know? Yeah, we were, like, 12 when we met. Yeah. <laughs> we were literally 12. Oh, my God. And now we're going to be 25. Yeah. And I just remember when we went and got Lola. Oh. That's one of my favorite memories, too. We were just, we, we just went to the cat store. We was like, all right, we're The cat to- store? <laughs> yeah. We, when we're bored, we go to pet stores and we look at animals. <laughs> Because that's just a fun thing to do when you're bored. You're having a bad day. Let's go on a shopping trip, and then let's go to the pet store and look at the animals. We seen her, and then we just all right. We can't. We can't do this. We We got back in the car. We went home, and then Hannah was like, "I want her," and I was like, "I do too." She looks so sad. We drove all the way home, y'all. We drove all the way home and thought about this for hours. Like we we sat at home and just talked and talked and talked about it like Mm -hmm. for hours and like you had to think about it too because like moving here you need to make sure it was okay to bring Lola here and there was a lot that goes into it like Mm -hmm. there was a lot of stuff we would have to get for her and like it was just going to be a really big adjustment yeah to have her and we went to your mom's and got a pet carrier and (laughs) and we we got her back and got her after hours of pondering and I think we went and got it was like an hour before they closed mm-hmm. like that's how long we sat there. It was and like, about well, it. if she's not there, somebody already got her. It wasn't well, no, meant to be. it wasn't meant to be. And we got her. Yeah. <laughs> and she just looked so pitiful because she was a humane society cat. Yeah. And like, she was a rescue. Yeah. And like, some of the animals, like, they sit in there forever and they never get adopted and they yeah. kill them. And it was and a was, gamble um, because she wasn't a kitten when we got her. Mm-mm. She was already a year old when we got her. And it's yeah. really a gamble because by then, They've kind of already formed their own little personality. Mm-hmm. And the lady told us, like, she has a rough past. Like, she has a history. Like, she hasn't been treated very well. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, she's going to be mean. She, you know. But she looked really sweet. She did. And like, we petted her. And they took her out. And we got to hold her. Yeah. And play with her. And we was like, we're She was take her. skittish. Like, you could tell. Mm-hmm. But I was like, she's probably just nervous. Like, she's in a cage. You mm-hmm. know? But she, it took her a minute to warm up to everything, but she finally did, and she's honestly the best cat she's like I've very ever sweet. known. Like you wouldn't know, you wouldn't have known that she had that past, right? Like that's the sweetest cat I've she's ever, very sweet. I've ever seen. She's a spoiled freaking brat now. <laughs> she's so freaking spoiled, and she loves it. And she's living like a queen. Like yeah. she's living large. And she hates Lola's world. Hates other animals. Hates yeah. other animals. Yes. She likes to be the center of attention. Mm-hmm. I have great so memories of with you and me and going to get cats because when we were younger, we used to just get cats all the time. We used to find cats. We used to find cats and then we'd take them home. <laughs> I was like back in high school and crap. We would find, I remember I have a video that actually came up on my memories of the day when we got Ellie. And oh. I have videos I need to show you when she was a kitten when we went and got her. Like it was like. Like, mm-hmm. four years ago or today, and it was, like, Ellie, and I was, like, oh, my God. Ellie is my cat that I got when I lived at my mom's house when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Um, she'll be five this year. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, me and my mom wanted a kitten. I think I was, I was still in high school. Yeah. We, or, we were in se- senior year. Senior year, yeah. And we wanted a kitten, and this girl on Facebook was just giving them away. Her cat had a litter of kittens, and uh, me and Brandy went and got her, and she was so small. Like, she was so tiny. Me and Hannah, I think we get a thrill off of the spontaneousness. We do. We for sure do. Because I remember this one cat we literally found in the Walmart parking lot, and we took it home. We did. He ran away, though. He ran away. I hope he's still okay, but... Probably not. He was wild. We, it was very dangerous. We should probably not have um, took him home. Yeah. That was Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. Leo. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> so, if we're on the subject of cats, I know we're kind of getting off topic, but I actually rescued a cat near my dad's house one time. Right after we got Ellie. Ellie was still little. Mm-hmm. Um, I rescued a cat, and it was when I was with Steve. Yeah, Mr. Whiskers or Mr. Jingles, Mr. Mr. Jingles, Mr. Jingles. Mr. Jingles. (laughs) Yeah, um, I lured him to me with cheese, (laughs) 
And um, he looked so raggedy, y'all. Like, he just looked like he was about to die. And I felt like... And then like, he had all these problems, too. To the vet, right? He had to get medicine. Yeah. Me and, me and Steve took him to the vet. And they were like, yeah, he's got this and this and this wrong with him. And I was like... He was like, you should have just left him where he was. I was like, probably. I have. think Steve still has this cat. He does. He does. Like, And he did not go to court and go through custody or nothing. Like, no. she does not get to see him or anything. No. She doesn't pay child support, though, so And I rescued good. him. Like, I'm the one that found him. And then Steve took the cat. Yeah. Because when I went to college, like, he took care of him for me because mm-hmm. I wasn't home to take care of him. And then when we broke up, he just kept him. He just kept him. That's sad. But I do know that he's being well taken care of. At least I know that. So. Yeah. I feel like I look stupid today because you have lashes on. And I normally have lashes on, but I didn't have lashes on. <laughs> but I don't have lashes on today. Okay. That's what I was trying to say. So, I always have my lashes on normally when we film. But let me just say this. I bought these new lashes. And these, like, normally I'm all for the big lashes. But these are, like, really, really big. I love them. I put I them on and I was like, whoa, these are big. But I kind of wore them a little bit. And I was like, okay, I'm kind of feeling them now. But when I first put them on, I was like, oh, these are huge. But I'm kind of feeling them now more that I've had them on for a while. On our second day of our vacation, we need to wear the lashes. Because that's when we're going to go take pictures and yeah. stuff. And we need to look cute. Be aware for all the TikToks. And, we're going to get a lot of content. You're going to get weekend. a you're lot gonna of content. You're going to get so much content. You're not going to know what to do Follow our socials, guys. Yes. So you can see. Follow us on TikTok. Especially um, if you're a fan of the Vampire Diaries and the Originals and Legacies. Because you're really going to see a lot of good content. Yes, please. And we're going to do a whole episode dedicated to it while we're down there in Covington. So, yes. I don't know. I'm going to try. Like, we should honestly just find us a spot in yeah. town and just set it up and do it there. We're going to try. The Mystic Grill. <laughs> We're going to try. We're kind of, we've been talking about it, and Caden is going to be with us. Um, Caden's our friend. She's your cousin. Yeah. Um, she's my she's, sister cousin. She's like a little sister to me. I've known her since she was literally yeah. a kid. Um, but... We she's literally like eight. <laughs> she li- literally. So we're kind of debating if we want to try to find a spot like in town to film. But I'm kind of struggling with like there's gonna be a lot of background noise. So I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah. But we are gonna film while we're in Covington. Mm-hmm. We're gonna film a special episode for next week. Yeah. So you guys definitely want to watch that one. It's going to be great. Many, many vacations together <laughs> that we've been on. Yeah. The first great. vacation we went on together was summer after ninth, after ninth grade. So yeah. like 15. <laughs> yes. You were still 14, right? Yeah. Because your birthday's late. Yep. But that was the first vacation we went on. Yes. <laughs> and we wore, we matched like every day. Because that course. was the thing then. And That's all we did. We went to the beach and literally bought like a whole matching outfit, and we wore it. And like we there's pictures that was of this cute. too. Just follow our Instagram because I'm gonna be posting some pictures. <laughs> um, yeah, we wore like a whole matching outfit, and it was like when Yolo was popular. Oh yeah, we got the Yolo shirts. Yeah, y'all. It was not cute. But honestly, like, sick to that. Like, you only live once. Yeah. And there's, like, so many things that I want to do and I want to see. The only problem is my freaking money. Like, if I had the money to go and see all these places, I would. But I can't. Yeah. But anyways. We've been on a lot of vacations. We've been, of course, to the beach. Uh, We went to Florida last year. Mm -hmm. That was fun. Been to the mountains a few times. We went to the The mountains. The mountain trips are the best trips. I know. I swear. Like, uh, There's I love something it. at the mountains. We're going to the mountains for my bachelorette. We are. I'm so excited. I was talking to like with my family and stuff today. I was like, next year for my birthday, I want to go on a cruise and I will hand it to come. Yes. With my family on a cruise. I've <laughs> never been on a cruise. I'm telling you, once you experience cruise life, you'll never want to go back to the I beach know. again. You get on there. Everything's already paid for. You eat as much as you want. You drink as much as you want. I know. It's I feel like I'm going to kind of get a taste of it when mm-hmm. I go to Jamaica mm-hmm. for our honeymoon. Because, like, the all-inclusive, like, I feel like I'm going to kind of get a taste of that lifestyle, mm-hmm. like, when we go. I'm telling you, a cruise is something different, man. Like, you wake up in the morning, you just walk out your door, get on the elevator, go up, there's your breakfast, they yeah. have shows, and alcohol and they got they got, sounds amazing they have clubs on the boat like you go in the club yeah. and be like there 
They have a karaoke lounge. It's a room where they just do karaoke all the time. Me and Dee will be there. Like, you gotta come. Like, it's gonna be fun. It's, so, so like, when I'm to next year, we're going cruising. That's the thing. Like, when I'm married, like, me and Dee are a package deal after that. <laughs> like, me and Dee are yeah, one. Yeah, I like Dee. He's all right. He can come. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Like, when you get married, it's like, you're no longer one person. Like, mm-hmm. You, it's you and your, your spouse, you know? Yeah, and as much as I would love Noah to come, he's not coming on the cruise. Oh, no, that's not for... I'm sorry. No, We're gonna, that's an adult's trip. It's an adult. It's going to be an adult trip. They have yeah. adults-only, like, pools and yeah. lounges and stuff for the adults. That's where I need like, to be. I don't want to be around screaming kids when I'm on vacation. <laughs> See, I'm, like, the big kid. Like, I love the water slides. I love... Roller coasters, I love anything. Like, yeah. I like the adrenaline rush. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a, I guess I'm an adrenaline junkie. You are, de- for <laughs> sure. For like, sure. if there's anything that you want to do, like, your mama actually said, this is a quote from Miss Anne, don't ever dare her to do anything again. Yes. Because she will do it. I have literally a video <laughs> of my mom saying, please do not dare her to do anything else. Because <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm, like, all sweet and quiet, but, I mean... I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Like if you tell me to do something, I'm not gonna not do it. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. I have so many memories with you that mm-hmm. I will cherish for the rest of my life. And I love you to death. You're like the sister I never had. Yay. And I love you. And um, so that was just a few of the <laughs> many, many, many memories that we have. If I go on, we'll be here all night. So. Yeah. Um, I feel like we're lucky that we found, like, we found each other. And we we are. got this connection with each other. We're literally kind of the same person on yeah. the ways we think about things. Yeah. And I'm thankful that I met you because I had really not had any friends up until then. Like, yeah. I had, like, school friends. Yeah. But we never really, like, hung out. Like <laughs> We are where we are today because of each other. Yeah. Like, we've helped each other through the hard times. Yeah. Like, I know, like, she's going to be there for me my whole life. Whatever I go through, whatever she goes through. Like, so, it's a forever thing. It is. It's stuck with me. We really need to get tattoos. I've never had let's, a tattoo, but... Let's freaking do it. I really want to see it tattoos. You can do it. I think I can do it. You can do it. Because there's so many that I want. I have, like, 20, but... My mom will kill me, but it's fine. Samantha, it's fine. It's my life, It's mother. fine. I mean, you know me, and I'm a good person. I have like 20. Like, <laughs> she's not, she loves you. She doesn't think you're a bad person. We went Nate the other night, and she was like, man, I wish Hannah was here. <laughs> it's like, am I not enough, mother? You're on town. Yeah, and Kelly texted me uh, when I was at work yesterday, and she was like, we missed you at dinner. <laughs> I was like, I missed y'all too. I had to work late. I kind of adopted Hannah into my family because I have a really big family. Yeah. And Hannah comes from a really small family. Yeah. So I told my family that we were going to adopt her. Yeah, we did. And, and yeah, we go out to eat with my family all the time. Mm-hmm. I said, my family is your family now. I, I'm adopting you. Yeah. <laughs> and Kate, like I said, she's like my little sister. Mm-hmm. And I feel like sometimes I want to squeeze her head off like she's my little sister too. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, definitely. Um, we're like five years older than her, so yeah. I'm very protective. She's the young, over that the girl. youngin of the group. Very protective over her. Yeah, y'all will see Caden next week. Oh, <laughs> so Brandy, um, let us into the life into my of head. Brandy. We're gonna go into my into the mind of Brandy. The mind of Brandy is a scary place. On the outside, I present this well-composed woman, like, all oh, my sweet. I love everything girly. I'm the most girly girl you ever met. I felt like I, when, I, when I was little, I tried to go through, like, that tomboy stage. Mm-hmm. Because, so like, did I. all my cousins were, like, boys that I hang out with. And, yeah. Like, I don't know. We'd play outside. And, like, anything the boys wanted to do, I wanted to do. Yeah. And I wanted to do it better than them because I'm very competitive. <laughs> when I was younger, I definitely, like, I don't know, like, the trend back in the early 2000s was to not like other girls. Like, she's not like other girls. She's hanging with the boys. She can do whatever she wanted to do. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of was that for, like, a hot minute. And then I kind of embraced, like, that's not who I am. I, if anyone, anyone who knows me, anyone who's met me, you know I'm, like, the girliest girl. To ever be a girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Mm-hmm. I'm very girly. I've embraced that. I know. 
My favorite color is purple, if you didn't know. My favorite color is purple because purple is the color of royalty. And I'm a princess. So, of course, that's my favorite color. Duh. Duh. Things about me is I basically do not live on earth. I live inside of my head all the time. And that's why I read books. Because when you read books, you can live different lives and meet different people. And it's really cool. When I like something, I get so invested in it. It's crazy. Like, when I like a movie, when I like a TV show, I research. I know everything. I watch everything multiple times. Like, I live in my fantasy world. I wish my life could be like these TV shows and these movies. It's like an escapism for me. Yeah. And I feel like I'm one of those people that just never grow up. Like, I know, like, some people, like, when they're little, like, they like this and they like that. And then they grow up and they, you know, mature. And I am very mature. Yeah. I really am. But, like, I'm not leaving that part of me behind. You, you know shouldn't. what I mean? Yeah. And if, like, some people just grow up and they're just, yeah, I did that when I was little, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. No, I live in a magical fairy tale land and I will always live in a magical fairy tale land. And I'm going to teach my kids to live in this magical fairy tale land. <laughs> like, I'm honestly known as, like, the one that never grew up with all of my cousins and stuff. I don't want to grow up and just be boring. No. Like, now I'm old enough and I got money a little bit and not a lot, but so we're going to Covington. Like, I'm trying to live out my Vampire Diaries fantasy. Yeah. Vampire Diaries is my favorite freaking show. If you have not watched it, please watch it. I'm telling you. And I know some people like all oh, vampires and love triangles. That's so cringe. Like, it has a good story and it has it a really good does. plot. And TV shows nowadays, like, it's, it's just not the same as yeah. it was back then. It's really not. It's really not. Like, the I, older shows are so much better. The older shows are so much better. And I feel like nowadays they just like, oh, well, this is a teen drama on anything. They'll watch it. It's not. No. You need to think about the characters and the plot. Growing up, I love reading, mm -hmm. of course, like when I was in elementary school and middle school. Well, it got me back into reading. Hunger Games was being made into like a film and like my English teacher had the book. So I went, so we had like a reading time, you know, in English. Yeah. Like you have like your 30 minutes to read. Yeah. And so I went, I was like, you have that book. I really want to read it. So I would go in there, and I would use her book, and I would read it for a little bit, and then have to wait to go back to school the next day to get it, finish reading it, and then I eventually finished it, and then I got home. I, don't, I honestly don't know if my mom or my dad picked me up that day. I really can't remember. It was so long ago. But I was like, can you please take me to Walmart? I need to get this next book. <laughs> and I got it, and I read it in one night. You can ask my mom. I stayed up all night, and I read Catching Fire, and then I read Mockingjay, and then I read Percy Jackson, and they're actually making Percy Jackson into a TV show now. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I watched watch the movies. The movies suck. Really? Yes. Uh, they're not yeah. faithful to the books at all. Okay. Well, okay. As the movies. Books. Standalone, like as movies, if you're not thinking about the books, they are good movies. Because I like the movies, yeah. but they're just not the books. See, like, if I didn't read the book and I watched the movie, I'd be like, yeah, that's good, you know? See, that's me. That's yeah. me. But I thought they were pretty good. <laughs> when you read the books, Percy is 12 years old in the first books. Oh, uh, okay. So I see what you mean. It's kind of like Harry Potter. Like, he was up, like, he's 11 and he grows up within the story. Right. So, Percy's supposed to be 12. And they cast Logan Learman, which I love Logan Learman. I was obsessed with him for a few years, but... And he's a good actor, and I love it. Alexandra Daddario, and she was good in that movie. Um, so, as a movie, it's a good movie, but it's not the books at all. He's supposed to be 12 yeah. when this happens. Okay, I And get then you. it goes, to, and then the last book, he's 16. And then they have, like, the spinoff series where you grow to see him, he's 17, 18. Like, it's just his whole life. Right. So they're doing a Disney Plus show, and the author is like, he's writing the scripts, he's helping with the casting, like, oh, okay. he's in, like, it's going to be good. Okay. I'm excited for it. We should watch it. Then I got into my favorite books of all time, which was Shadowhunter's books. There's literally like 20 of them. I've read every single one, and she's still making more because she loves us, and she's giving us content. <laughs> <laughs> and my... 
So like, those books take place like so they're the first series is like set like modern day New York, mm -hmm. and then she went back and did three books set in London during the eighteen hundreds, which you know. Oh, that's is your my thing. favorite. It's, that's my thing. That's your thing. That's my thing. So it was like they're going to the balls wearing the pretty dresses, but you know they got the daggers underneath their shirts. They're going to fight demons. Yeah. Like you mix up fantasy and my favorite period in time. So. The Clockwork series is my favorite series because of that. Yeah. Like, that's my two favorite things. That's my favorite. That's the best it trilogy is. of all time. It is. Like, it's amazing. And she keeps writing books this day. And now, like, after the first series, there's another series that takes place in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And then she's done another one after that. Oh. And then she went back to the 1800s, and then she wrote a series about the kids from the people from that series. Oh. So we're we're reading that right now too and like she just keeps giving us content mm -hmm. and I love that and that's my favorite series and I would like to live there forever I'm a dreamer I, I think big mm -hmm. like I really do yeah and then like when you're thrown into this world you realize it's not this big freaking fantasy world that you've been dreaming of and that's where I'm struggling right now because yeah. you just grow up and you like realize the world's a dark place. The world is a dark place. And, like, you grow up in your head and you have to, well, you, when you're little, that like, you can be anything you want to be. You can do anything you want to do. You really can't. <laughs> unless you have money. Which we don't have. And if I had all the money in the world, I would love to go see all these things. It's a question for you. Guess where I would go right now if someone gave me the money to go there. Would you go to London? Yes. I would go to London. <laughs> I need of that. Of course I would go to London. I figured. I have the freaking London tapestry in my room. That's it's why I figured. It still hangs there to this day. <laughs> it's been moved quite a lot, but it's still there. Um, I'm obsessed with London. I'm obsessed with the British. Um, I actually made a TikTok the other day. It was me making tea. Did you see me? I saw that. making tea TikTok? Yeah. Okay. And I was like, I know... One of y'all British people are going to come for me for making tea this way. And guess what? A British man commented on the TikTok. I'm telling you, they find you. He commented, um, bruh, just use a kettle. Kettles aren't common in America. And why would I use a kettle when, when I can do the same thing with my microwave? I can heat my water up in my microwave. I mean, yeah, you, you can. I have become a tea drinker, though. I drink tea every night. That's like, good. Yeah. I, I need to get you some teas. I need you need to become a tea drinker. Like it's changed my life. I've been addicted to the body armors here lately. Oh, I've been yeah. drinking them every day. I love. They're those. so good. They have the low calorie ones now. That's the ones I drink. Mm -hmm. They're so good. I have a low calorie. I think it's like berry punch right now. And you know I'm addicted to the Celsius. Oh, I'm addicted to the Celsius as well. After this month, like my money's a little tight right now. But after this month, I'm joining the gym again. Mm -hmm. We're gonna make freaking content of us. I'm gonna dry scoop my dry scoop my protein and chug it with a Celsius, and we're going to the gym. <laughs> and <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. Like I'm excited. I gotta go to the protein store. Yeah. I wish I was not born in this time period. I'm not the. <laughs> I'm not the 21st century girl. Like I'm not the 20th century girl. Like I'm not the. This is not my time period. I want to be. Born in London, and I want to dress up in my gown and drink my tea and go and gossip with the other girls at the park. And then we get ready for the ball later, and the carriage picks us up, and we're dressed. I please make the ball gowns a fashion statement again. Like I want to wear the ball gowns, and I want to go to the balls. I could see you wearing a big ball gown. I dress would at your wedding. I would, and I am. <laughs> Like, I won't, that's what I want. <laughs> I want to live in London in the 1800s, and I want to go in my ball gown, and I want to go to the balls, and the man with the, the big top hats. I just want to live my princess fairy tale life, and I was not born into that. <laughs> we can but dream, right? Honestly, like, I feel like you have two people in the world. You have the realists, and then you have the dreamers, mm -hmm. and I'm definitely a dreamer. Yeah. For sure. Why do you think you are? I'm a realist, for sure. You're a realist? Yeah. What the? What do you mean by that? I don't know. I feel like 
I'm just a realistic person. Mm -hmm. I feel like I think about everything from a more realistic standpoint. Mm -hmm. I feel like I, I think about the harsh conditions of things. Like, I hate to say it like this, but I think about the things that nobody wants to think about. But it's the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like you may say something, like, from a dreamer standpoint, like, oh, like, you know, just, this is a hypothetical situation. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, like, I want to do this or whatever, but in my mind, I'm thinking, like, that is not feasible. Like, that would never happen. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I'm that, and I'm not saying that's a good way to be. <laughs> like, I kind of hate that I'm that way sometimes, but I feel like I kind of am that way, so I don't get my hopes up, and yeah. I don't be disappointed. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, I don't have like, high don't expectations. don't wish for anything, right. so nothing will ever go bad. Right. You know what I mean? I don't get my hopes up, and I don't have too high of expectations. Now, when it comes to my self-worth, and when it comes to things I think I deserve, that's different, of course. Like, mm -hmm. when it comes to, like, you know, when it comes to D and, like, our relationship and things that I thought I deserved, of course, like, I had high expectations. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, just simple things, like... I don't have all the money in the world. And, like, of course I would love to do all these nice things. I would, I would love to go on all these vacations. And, like, I'd love to be on a beach every month. But, like, <laughs> I know that, like, I'm a beach girl. Like, oh yeah, I sure. love the beach. I'd go to the beach every freaking weekend if I could. Like, the beach is my home. Like, my second mm -hmm. home. I love the beach. Anytime I'm on a beach, I'm A-OK. -okay. But it's just not possible. It's not realistic. So, I just don't get high expectations for things yeah. like that. So, that's just how I am. And um, I think it's just the way I was brought up and the way I was raised and the way I saw... Because, like, you know, my mom was a single mom raising me. And I think just all the things I saw my mom go through, mm -hmm. I think that's why I am the way I am. I just know every possibility that could happen. So, I just... And sometimes my downfall is, I think, worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. So I do the same thing. So that's what I yeah. that the sad girl hours when the sun goes down. That's all my anxiety brain thinks is mm -hmm. the worst of everything, which yeah. is it sucks. Honestly, I feel like the world needs the dreamers because yeah. we just have. I have this crazy imagination, and I honestly want to write a book and like to be an author one day. You should it would be crazy you because should. I have so much going on in my head. I you totally should do that. I would love that. You have your book signing. Party. Yeah, I'd love that. That'd be dope. Either that, or I really want to be an actor just to get to play in those worlds. Yeah. And, like, I'm trying to. I've literally downloaded apps and looking at casting calls, and you never know. Follow your dreams. I, I want to. I kind of have hiccups, so guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to try to follow my dreams, but it's just hard when you look from a realistic standpoint. That's probably never going to happen, but I'm on the dreamer standpoint of, like, do whatever you freaking want. You only get one life. Like, I don't want to take it for granted. I don't want to wish that I had did something that Absolutely I didn't right. do. You know? Yep. Like, you look back on moments, man, I wish I would have did that. Yeah. Do it. Do it, girls. Do it. Guys. Do it. do it. Have fun. Like, yep. Do the best. Do what you can. We have a lot coming up recently. Like, yes. there's so much content that we're going to be giving you guys, and I'm so excited yes. for that. Um, so, yeah, make sure you're following us on everything again. And we're on YouTube, Apple Spotify, Podcasts. Apple Podcasts, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. Yes. And we'll link it and follow it. And if you want to be here on our journey and our lives, like, I love doing this podcast. It's I like a too. time capsule. It like, is. We can look back on this. It really is. And this is our 10th episode. It's the 10th episode? This is like a milestone. This is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> We're 10 episodes in. and Yeah. It's crazy that we've already done 10. Yeah. So, if you like what you're hearing and you like what you're seeing, if you're on YouTube, please give us a like and comment. We would love it. And subscribe. And subscribe. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe and we'll know, okay, well, they like this. This is good. We're putting out good content. Like, subscribe. Let us know. Like, comment. Um, we're going on a trip. 
We're leaving yes. Friday morning and going on another trip. Yes. And I love going on trips. Me too. And it's going to be amazing and I'm so excited. I'm excited too. So our next episode will have a different setup. We won't be here. We, we won't be, be here. We're going to be on location. We'll be on location. So From Georgia. So tune in for that. <laughs> That'll be a little different. And it's my birthday in a few hours. Yay. I don't want to be old. <laughs> I can only say I'm 24 so many times. I know. That sucks. <laughs> Everyone at work thinks I'm so old. Like, I told them my age, and like, really? You're old. Oh, you're not old. And they tell me I'm old. No, I'm not. I am not. You're not old. I'm five years from 30. 30, flirty, thriving. Right. Like, I just feel like I have so much left to give to the world. I'm not I'm far excited. behind you, though. You're not. Your birthday's in August. Yeah. We're three months apart. Yeah. Oh my god, May is it only July three months? months? Yeah. Oh my god. Your birthday's in three months. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> and did that just hit you? Yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. And it's crazy because every month that goes by, it's one month closer to my wedding. So yeah. then I start to sweat a little bit. I'm like, oh god. But like time closer. flies. And they say as you get older, it just flies faster. It does. And it, does. it does. That's so true. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Our 10 year reunion is going to be in a few years. Our ten year oh, high school I'm reunion. I'm showing up to that high school reunion, like I know, and Dee graduated the same year as us, so we're gonna be married, so that's gonna be crazy. People's gonna be like, Oh shoot Oh, they got I married. see that coming. See that coming. <laughs> this is the end of this episode, so stay tuned. We have a lot of content coming at we you do. soon. And we'll see you the next episode. Especially follow our TikTok. There's gonna be Please. a lot of stuff on TikTok. So especially if you don't follow anything else, especially follow TikTok. Yeah, we've and subscribe a lot on TikTok. Yes, so I hope you enjoy this episode all about Brandy and getting Yay. to know her. She's a beautiful, wonderful human being. Thank you. I'm so glad to be able to call her my best friend. And I'm, I love doing this podcast with you. I do too. So, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time you see us, we'll be in Georgia. So Georgia. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next Wednesday. <laughs> Woo! Bye.